Title fights don't get much bigger than this. Two of the most accomplished fighters in UFC history are set to square off for the third time in the main event of UFC 252 when Stipe Miocic faces Daniel Cormier. Each fighter has scored a knockout in the previous two meetings with Miocic getting the upper hand in the last bout. Now, the two will look to settle the score in the grudge match. Miocic set the record for most consecutive heavyweight title defenses at three before Cormier scored the shocking first-round knockout in 2018. Cormier, a former light heavyweight and heavyweight champion in his own right, has stated he will retire win or lose on Saturday after a decorated MMA career. But there's plenty of depth to be found beyond the main event of the evening. There's a pair of veterans looking to add one more win to the resume when Jim Miller and Vink Pickle link up in the preliminary main event. In Miller's case, a win moves him closer to topping Donald Cerrone's mark for most victories in UFC history. Then, one of UFC's brightest rising stars returns to the center of the octagon when Sean O'Malley takes on Marlon Vera in a bantamweight bout. O'Malley has been on fire since returning from a two-year USADA suspension. He's scored two straight nasty knockouts and has an insane finishing record at just 25 years old. Vera, however, cannot be overlooked in this spot as the Colombian has never been finished and won five of his last six. Can't get enough UFC? Subscribe to our podcast State of Combat with Brian Campbell where we break down everything you need to know in the octagon, including a complete preview of UFC 252 with Hall of Famer, Shuga, Rashad Evans below. Buckle up, it's going to be a wild ride. Let's take a closer look at the rest of the card with the latest odds from William Hill Sportsbook. With such a massive main event on tap, the crew at CBS Sports went ahead with predictions and picks for the main card. Here are your pickmakers, Brent Brookhouse, combat sports writer, Brian Campbell, combat sports writer, Matthew Coca, producer, Jack Crosby, editor, and Michael Mormile, producer. Campbell on why Cormier will win. If Cormier is able to shake off nagging injuries and get into five-round championship shape once more, this is his fight to lose. He's simply better in every category save for stamina and top-end power and has more ways to win. Should DC give Miocic an avenue for victory, the underrated defending champion will take it. But if this trilogy becomes more tense and technical than the first two, it plays more into Cormier's hands, particularly if he can do a better job mixing in takedowns and sticking to the game plan. Brookhouse on why Miocic will win. Cormier is 41, more than a year older than when he had originally planned to retire. Miocic also has to be thinking constantly about how digging to Cormier's body completely changed their first meeting.